Today, we'll be looking into five Chrome flags you should enable to boost your browsing. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Google Chrome has enough features to shake a stick at, or more appropriately, to wave a flag at. One of the less charted areas of Chrome's broad repertoire is Chrome Flags, where you'll find a database of experimental features that, while not always fully functional, can boost your browser in ways you wouldn't have thought possible. These are the best Chrome Flags for tweaking the browser on both computers and mobile. Before you use any of these Chrome Flags, you first need to know how to access them. Type chrome colon double slash flags in the Chrome address bar and hit enter. You will see a big list of Chrome flags with a warning that these features are not stable. You can use Chrome's find, control plus F feature to quickly find the features we have listed. Rasterization is the process by which Chrome organizes website data into pixels and tangible information you end up seeing on the screen in front of you. It does this by organizing each page into tiles at which point it effectively paints in the information in each one to add up to the whole you see in front of you. There are a few things you can do with rasterization through Chrome flags, but one of the best is zero copy rasterization, which can ease load on the low end GPU by not uploading every tile changed to it, offloading it instead onto your device's memory. This can be particularly helpful on mobile devices with the potential to reduce battery usage when you browse the web. On Android, Google has been experimenting with a Duet interface for a few years now, which places most of the options like Tabs, Search, Home, and the Options menu at the bottom of the screen instead of the top. This feature is not for everyone, but if you want to try it, then search for Chrome Duet in Chrome Flags. Here's the strange thing, setting Chrome Duet to disabled actually seems to enable it for us, while setting it to enable disables it. So if it doesn't work, try doing the reverse of what you think you should do. There are several features on Chrome flags that can speed up your browsing, many of which are enabled by default. One such feature, which specifically speeds up your downloads, is parallel downloading which splits each file you download into three separate jobs, speeding up the whole process. To enable it, in Chrome flags type parallel downloading, then click default when it appears in the list, then click enable. As the name suggests, this lets you smoothly scroll through the content. When you scroll in Chrome using your mouse or the arrow keys, there's a little stuttering in the animation. In my experience, it makes it hard to quickly go through content and easily read what is important at the same time, which is bad for content skimmers. With this option enabled, smooth scrolling just feels right and professional. Just search for smooth scrolling or type chrome colon double slash flags slash hash smooth dash scrolling into the address bar to directly access it. Enable it using the drop down menu below it. Quick Protocol is the new connection protocol created by Google that is still under development. Quick is supposed to be a mixture of TCP and UDP protocols that is much faster and more secure at the same time. Usually when we are on a TCP or a UDP connection, it takes multiple trips to the server before a connection is stable and ready to exchange data. Quick Protocol's main goal is to only make a single trip to create a connection that can start the data exchange process, thus increasing the overall browsing and data exchange speed. In Chrome, you can enable Quick Protocol to start taking advantage of this protocol right now and speed up browsing. Look for the flag Experimental Quick Protocol or type. Use the drop down menu below it to enable it. From the same Chrome flags, you can also enable Chrome Offline Mode that allows you to access already visited websites without the need of an internet connection. We have written a step-by-step -step guide on our website on how to enable and use offline mode in Chrome. You can check it out if you're interested. These are just some of the Chrome flags that will enhance your browsing experience. 
although there are dozens of other flags to try, we don't recommend you mess with them unless you know exactly what you're doing. These experiments can prevent you from browsing normally and may even lead to data loss. So be very careful and only enable what we've mentioned here. Do you have any favorite flags that you'd like to see included? Let us know in the comments. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.